that is thrown upward from the ground level with an initial speed of 9.8 meters a second. So what's its height in meters after T S is given by Y equals 9.8 T minus 4.9 T squared. What is the acceleration of the ball at any time? All right, so the acceleration of the ball, it's a second derivative. So in this case, it's gonna be negative uh, 9.8. So acceleration um, negative nine point eight. Well, nine point eight meters a second. That's what's swaying on everyone on Earth. So anyway, okay. So uh, what is the acceleration of the ball at time t? All right. So how high does the ball go? We want to. How we find that is we get the. Um, the axis of symmetry because this is this this is in the shape of an inverted parabola and it's going to be right here at its peak so to find that we do negative b over 2a so in this instance b is equal to the 9.8 divided by 2 times negative 4.9 and that just gives us um, 2 or not 2 that gives us 1 positive 1 so that's one second. So that's gonna, when we plug in one, so y of one is equal to 9.8 times one minus 4.9, one squared. So that just ends up being equal to 4.9 meters. That's the position of it. All right, so that's the ma maximum height. All right, so how fast is the ball moving when it strikes the ground? Um, all we need to do is we need to solve we need to solve 9.8 t minus 4.9 t squared to equal to zero. So factor out a t, put 9.8 t minus 4. Point, excuse me, 9. Point, 9.8 minus 4.9 t equals zero. So when we solve this, so we get t is equal to zero. Um, and then t is equal to two. So zero, it starts off at the ground, or time t equals zero, it's at the ground, but that two seconds, that's when it hits the ball again. So hits ground. All right, and finally, how fast is it moving when it strikes the ground? Uh, to do that, we need this second derivative, so y prime at two seconds, is, and then the derivative is 9.8 minus 9.8t, so in this case two, and when we plug that in, 9.8 minus seven or 17.6 uh, should give us negative 9.8. Nine yeah, negative 9.8 meters a second because velocity is directional it has a vector unit so negative it's heading towards the earth so okay that's it all right i hope this problem helped you out i appreciate you taking the time to watch and you have yourself a great day